The smallest cathedral city in England, Wells is home to 10,000 people at the southern foot of the Mendip Hills. So called for natural springs in the cathedral grounds, Wells became a bishopric in the 10th century, and since the 13th century has shared a diocese with Bath. Let's explore the best things to do in Wells. Number 1 Wells Cathedral The first cathedral in Europe designed solely in the Gothic style, Wells Cathedral was begun in 1176, and work would continue for the next 300 years. It is hailed as one of the country's finest, and the prevailing style is early English, evident in the fluted piers, pointed arcades and capitals with foliate designs. Number 2 Bishop's Palace Started after the 13th century Bishop of Bath, Jocelyn of Wells received royal permission to build a residence and Deer Park, the Bishop's Palace remains the seat of the Bishops of Bath and Wells. The palace is out of the ordinary for an ecclesiastical building, as it is defended by a moat and fortified walls. Number 3 Vickers Close Europe's oldest medieval planned street, the phenomenal Vickers Close was plotted in the middle of the 14th century. The street was built to provide homes for the priests serving the cathedral, known as the Vickers Coral. Most of the houses you can see were constructed by 1361, while the remainder were completed by 1412. At that time the cathedral had 42 vicars, and each one had his own house. Number 4 Wells Marketplace The center of life for more than 800 years, Wells Handsome Marketplace has a hook shape, turning at an acute angle on its east end where you'll be confronted by the solemn Georgian Town Hall, 1779. Also on the east side are two gateways to the walled ecclesiastical precinct, both of which are grade I listed buildings. Number 5 Wells and Mendip Museum This concise but well-curated regional museum is in the historic Chancellor's House, which dates mostly from the 17th and 18th centuries, but has elements going back 200 years earlier. Most of the artifacts come from the Mendip Hills, inhabited since prehistory. There are Stone Age tools and pieces of Iron Age pottery in the Balch Room, as well as the medieval bones of a woman, described as the Witch of Wookie. Number 6 St. Cuthbert's Church Somerset's largest parish church is so grand that people sometimes mistake it for Wells Cathedral. Replacing a Saxon church, this great I listed monument was first built in the early English Gothic style in the 1200s and then reworked in the 1400s, leaving it with sublime perpendicular architecture. Number 7 The Old Deanery Long the residence for the head of the chapter of Wells Cathedral, this castellated building on Cathedral Green has more recently been occupied by diocesan offices. The earliest architecture at the Great I listed Old Deanery dates to the 12th century, and the building was enlarged in the 15th and 17th centuries. Number 8 Bishop's Barn on Silver Street you can make a stop to see a 15th-century tithe barn that was donated to the city by Bishop Lord Arthur Hervey in 1887. The Bishop's barn is built from local limestone and has ashlar window and door dressings quarried at Dolting in the Mendip Hills. Number 9 Mendip Hills Wells is under the southern ridge of Carboniferous Limestone Hills that are conserved as an area of outstanding natural beauty. You don't have to travel far to appreciate the splendor of the Mendip Hills, as immediately outside Wells there are stirring vistas back over the town and the Vale of Avalon. Number 10 Wookie Hole Caves One of the first ports of call in the Mendip Hills is this set of caves cut from the limestone by the acidic groundwater. There's a peculiar stalagmite in the first chamber, which spawned a legend about a medieval which turned to stone after being splashed with holy water by a monk. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.